Niners signed Tony Jefferson today. In your opinion, in your opinion, was this a good addition for the 49ers? Yeah, 100 percent Why? So we've I I mean, I think people know at this point how how I feel about the two Niners safeties. I'm as big a fan of Jimmy Ward and Jaquaski Tart as I think anybody who taught has the opportunity to yeah. talk about Jimmy Ward and Jaquaski Tart. If there's one really, thing you've spoken into existence, it's the appreciation for those two players. You really. Yeah, because I think they're both phenomenal football players that just haven't been talked about. And now Jimmy Ward's your boy, so we got to continue giving him the love, and he's play deserves I it. I also so love Jaquaski Tart if Jaquaski's watching. By the way, Jaquaski, really like you. Yeah, I Good love Jaquaski Tart. Yeah. Huge fan. Those are the two so, most down-to-earth players in the team. I've said that for a long time. They're extremely down-to-earth. Yeah, I'm a, yeah so I, I'm a huge fan of both of them. So I think people know how I feel. So – from a starting safety standpoint, I feel like the Niners are set, but both of them do come with a little bit of health risk. And I think one of the big problems for the Niners is that I feel like they haven't brought any competition for this backup safety job. And mm -hmm. Tarverius Moore and Marcel Harris each year have been shoo-ins to make the team. And I think for a six, six round, seventh round pick, I think Marcel Harris has kind of produced how you would expect a guy that could be capable of playing one to two games, a guy who has a clear strength, which is throwing his body around and being aggressive against the run and doing a great job with his run fits, but also occasionally just his lack of explosiveness at times can get exposed in space when he's yeah. covering in zone coverage. But I don't think he's as bad in coverage as people want to say. He's a really good special teamer. He's just overall a solid player, but not a guy you know who you want starting seven, eight games a season for you. Tarverius Moore is kind of the opposite, right? As a third round pick, he has this high end potential because when you look at his fluidity as an athlete and his overall speed, he has the ability to play as a true single high safety like a Jesse Bates, which is really rare in, in the NFL. I mean, there aren't that many guys with his speed and range, but he struggles sometimes to execute the defense that's called. We saw when he didn't get the palms check versus the Bills and Richard Sherman bit on the out, with his, which is his job, and he didn't take the vertical. He was busy playing the post safety in the middle of the field, which was one of the more bizarre touchdowns given up by the 49ers this year because they're usually so assignment sound. And the other thing is every game, every game it feels like he's at risk to give, turn a 15-yard run play into a 60-yard run play because sure. he takes a bad angle to the football or he gets he you know he overcommits in the hole and the he gets one little juke Cam Akers gives him a little juke in the hole and now he's on his high horse and he runs him down but you know those things can't happen so then he's another guy where he has his potential, but you again, you can't start him six, seven times, six, seven times in a season just because he's such a risk, which is why I think this was a really, really good addition because Tony Jefferson, when he's healthy, is is a near starting caliber safety. He's a really solid player. I think there was something we envisioned that we can get into. And, you know, mm -hmm. I talked about this. I feel like the guy that first got me on this was Scott Gielen, so I want to shout him out follow him on Twitter. He's really smart, but um, yes, he is. we can talk about it. I don't think Tony Jefferson fits that mold, but in terms of being an addition for the 49ers, a guy where if Tart gets injured next year, if Ward gets injured next year, this is a guy that can start six, seven games and play really, really solid football and sound football. So I think this is a really good addition for the 49ers. And it's necessary at this point because Tart's not practicing. Harris isn't practicing. They could use another strong safety right now. It's like, uh, Tavon Wilson, Jimmy Ward, and Talanoa Hafenga. That's it. So they needed another guy. They got another guy. This guy was really good. Hasn't really played much the last two years. Tours ACL. Played for James Betcher. There's a relationship there. My question, mm -hmm. I guess the follow-up would be, would you have preferred him to sign a free safety instead of a strong safety? So, yeah, I, I would have preferred. They could still do it. Malik Trey Boston, Hooker's, Malik Hooker. Malik I mean, Hooker, I think I would yeah. personally prefer Trey Boston just yeah. because Malik Hooker is just another guy that injuries. gets hurt a lot. A lot but of injuries. Yeah. What I envision if they sign a guy like Trey Boston is that I think the Niners' best personnel package on defense on third downs is actually like a special big nickel, big dime package right. where you bring dime. you have big you dime. go single high safety and you have Trey Boston, you know, who 
is capable of being a post safety. You stick him at the post safety, and yeah. all he has to do is not get give up anything over the top. And then you bring Jimmy Ward down as your strong safety. You yeah. pull Dre Greenlaw out, and you have Jaquaski Tart as your will linebacker, something he did a lot with Eric Mangini. He was their dime linebacker. And you have Fred Warner in the middle, and I think it maximizes the number of things you can do. Because if you talk – I remember you mentioned something earlier this year when Robert Sala would, was really hyping up Jimmy Ward, and this was around mm-hmm. the middle of this year. He talked about how Jimmy Ward allows them to disguise their defense because right. he's so good in man coverage. You can't tell yeah. if the 49ers are in man and zone. Well, yeah. this will increase disguise by a lot because Tart's excellent in man coverage. Ward's yeah. excellent in man coverage. Warner's excellent in man coverage. And Verrett's already a very great outside corner, so you don't need Boston to be shading over to his side. So you can help Mosley out. You can blitz K1. There's so many things that you can do in, within that package because – Ward, Warner, Verrett, and Tart are such complete football players. So in an ideal world, I would like to see them do something like that. I mentioned this on the exclusive Grant Cohn Discord, and Coach Johnson actually made a really good point. And he said that the only problem with doing that is that Tart and Ward's health make it difficult to have a specialized defensive package built around them. Because if they miss seven games in a season, Moore doesn't replace and he can't do what Ward would do in that role. He can't do what Tart would do in that role. Neither can Harris, neither can Jefferson. So for that reason, I think that's a good point. But in an ideal world, I would love to see the 49ers do something like that because I think they could be so creative and so uh, versatile doing something like that. Yeah, I think they should sign Trey Boston right now because I think he's better than Tavarius Moore. So why not have them both in camp and let them compete? Let the best man win. I mean, it could be an upgrade there. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. All right, we, that's enough of Tony Jefferson. We'll see if he even makes the team. The guy's got to show he's healthy. But now that the Niners had success with Jason Verrett, they're feeling invincible. So I understand where right, they're coming right, from. Right, right, right. 